Hello, my name is Christopher Lee. I'm here from Wynn Las Vegas. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make perfect aioli. You know, an aioli is simple as it's an emulsion, right? So scientifically, you're trying to squeeze larger fat molecules into a smaller water molecule, which is what makes the emulsion, which is why you get that off color. So what we need today will be for two eggs, a lemon, olive oil, two cups, salt, garlic and a little water. So from this top, we're gonna to start the eggs. So we're gonna separate the eggs. Since we're making an aioli, we're gonna separate the yolk from the white. But since we want a nice, rich spread, we're just gonna use the yolks. And take our lemon. Now we can use the juice, which we will, but I also like using the zest. The zest brings a little floral flavor to out of the lemon as well, not just the acidity. So you get a really nice aroma. So we're gonna do probably about a quarter teaspoon. Then we're gonna cut the lemon. We're gonna squeeze it into the bowl. The next step is gonna be adding a little garlic. Garlic is also a very strong flavor. We're just gonna microplane, which is shredding it down to a fine, fine paste, about a half a clove. We're just gonna take it off the spoon. That goes into our base as well. We're gonna add a little water. Now the water helps us stabilize the emulsion. And now we're gonna whisk. And this is just the start. You see how the eggs and everything are kind of forming this off yellow color, which is, that means we're actually starting the emulsification process. We're gonna to start to add the oil. So what I like to do before I emulsify the oil, I'm gonna put this little cloth down. Now this cloth helps stabilize the bowl so the bowl doesn't spin on you while you're whisking. Because once you start this process, you don't really want to stop. So now for the oil, you want to start to drizzle it in. And the drizzling helps to stabilize what you're doing. All right, so you don't want to go too fast. If you go too fast, you run risk of breaking your emulsion. So you can see we're just slowly doing it and getting all those fat molecules to um, emulsify into the water. You know, there's other ways to help sturdy your emulsion as well. You could actually put a little teaspoon of Dijon mustard in here, and that'll help stabilize um, because of the different proteins that are in it. And you can tell when we're getting it is when you see the streaks. You see streaks in your, in your bowl, that means things are going in the right direction. You know, in the home, sometimes you're gonna find challenges by adding the oil too much, too quick and then you don't have a chance to have the right emulsification. Let's say at this point, your emulsion or your aioli is starting to break, right? How do you recover quickly? Because you know that is a concern. Add a little water. A little water will help you stabilize the, the aioli so it could re-emulsify and get back on track. And you can see how nice and yellow this aioli is. Well, that's because it's only yolks. Now, if we wanted to look like mayonnaise, we just add the whites and you would be a little lighter in color. Here, I'm just do a little seasoning. Let's see where we're at. A little more salt. We'll go a little more oil. As you can see, we have this amazing creamy texture to this aioli. So we're finished here. We have this beautiful creamy aioli or garlic lemon aioli, let's say. And it has so many multi-uses to it. You can use it for foundations, for dressings. You can make a great Caesar salad out of this. You can dip vegetables, use it in dips, use it in marinades. And it lasts up to about seven to 10 days in your refrigerator in a covered jar or container. And that's a perfect aioli. I'm Christopher Lee for Rob Report.